Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out my best MTZ 7.62 class in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 45 likes. I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, we're going to be going with the Renetti. This is by far my favorite pistol to use in Modern Warfare 3. I have a video to the attachments or class setup. If you want to go check that out, I can link it in the comments. Over on the tactical, we're going to be going with the stem, lethal, simtex, field upgrade is munitions box, gloves is scavenger gloves, cover sneakers for the boots, gear is EOD padding, and over on the vest, we're going to be using the demolition vest. This gives us resupply and two lethals. Now let's jump straight into the class setup. Now this is a little bit of a personal preference attachment. I like to use the MK3 reflector and the slate reflector. You can use whatever you want, or you can even use iron sights, but this is just personal preference. Over on the stock, we're going to be going with the EXF Close Quarters Assault Stock. This gives you recoil control and gun kick control. And over on the rear grip, we're going with the MTZ Factory Rear Grip. This gives you firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. Over on the underbarrel, we're going to be going with the X10 Phantom 5 Hand Stop. This gives you sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, vertical recoil control, gun kick control. And over on the muzzle, we're going with the L4R Flash Hider Muzzle. This gives you muzzle flash concealment, recoil control, and gun kick control. This is a no recoil class setup. I wanted to just try to give some or uh, give y'all the best no recoil build possible. And this is by far the best one I could come up with. Uh, I really don't know what else you could put on it to give it no recoil. Maybe take off the optic and put on maybe the MTZ clinch pro barrel. Let me see. Let me go in the firing range and there's still like a lot of Mm, it's it's kind of like a little bit of uh, vertical recoil. Like, I don't have my hand on my right stick at all right now. And it, it goes up a little bit, but it's not like uncontrollable. But I hope you guys end up using this class setup and it helps. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you do, let me know with a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, and I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Alright, we're going to be using the MTZ762. We're over on some skid row. As far as hardpoint maps go, this is not my favorite map i think i like um i don't know there's so many like that are pretty good and we're well, not pretty good but they're i think they're all decent there's somebody definitely gonna be right there I got five bullets right now. My God. You really got to watch like behind you on this map though. We're starting off pretty good. We got streaks going in. I think the hardest hill is definitely P2 right here. Oh my God, they spawned right behind me. Oh, no, he didn't spawn behind me. He just walked past me. How did I not see him? That made no sense. But we're gonna have to start back over. Okay, and then I get three bulleted by an MW2 gun. If teammates don't get on this hill, I think it's like, it's pretty hard to get points. He's just behind me the entire time. I don't know what this guy's doing. 
Alright, we need to go to P3 over here. I don't know what our teammates are doing. Get on that teammate. I think the hardest part about playing hardpoint is not having teammates that play the objective. Let's call this UAV and get behind these two guys right here. All right, we got a, a majority of that hill. Now we just need to rotate and try to get this one. Okay. Let's help out our teammates a little bit here. That shotgun is insane. Is that what? Oh my gosh. I can't do anything. My my team won't even get on the hill. I'm gonna have to get on the hill. Alright, we're on the hill now. I'm going to the next hard point. I think they're going over here. Oh, there. Loser. I don't know why. He's using like a two tap shotgun. Snipers are so annoying in this game. I, every lobby, I get somebody sniping or somebody using a knife. I got 41 kills. They're above me, top plat here. Oh, there's a knifer. What do you know? The whole the whole uh, team is getting knifed. Turn around. All right, we need to rotate. Go ahead and call this kill streak in. Hopefully nobody's up here, thank God. There's a guy under, I think he died, he didn't die. He's dead now. All 
Alright, I need to go ahead and rotate so we don't lose too, too many points. And he's just camping up there. Two of them are camping up there. That's amazing. Alright guys, what are we doing? Why are we all sitting up there? I should I go top mid here? Right, now we got to run to barber and try to fight for that they're leaving the game see i don't like that if you if you're winning the game why are you leaving unless you're you got like one kill then it makes sense but if you're winning and you're doing good why why leave the game that's like you're backing out because you know you're about to start losing I don't even know where I'm getting shot from. Fifty-seven kills. We're in the lead now, so. Like what are y'all doing? Y'all not even playing the game anymore. That's fine. We'll take we'll take the win. Easy. I'm already on new. I'm not going to get on it, though, because I want this to drag out a little bit. Teammates are coming in. That's fun. That's going to be the end, though. 59 kills. GG's. Yeah.